Hey, another best book series, huh? Hooray! <laughs> oh man, my house is a library. Unfortunately, I threw away like forty percent of like the really awful books like about twenty years ago. And my house is still a freaking library. Um, and also, too, uncomparable to the 14 terabytes of PDF books that I have. Terabytes, not gigabytes. Terabytes. Here's a great one. You can get it really, really cheap on eBay. It's by Zayner. It's Mysticism, Sacred and Profane. This is a great read. This is that to take it on a vacation and read a book. Mysticism, Sacred and Profane. Give it a highest recommendation. This one's kind of heady. But it's uh, pithy, and it's not, uh, you know, historical analysis. Like, yeah, this happened then, and then this happened, and blah, 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 blah. This is uh, Prisankara Advaita Vedanta. I'll repeat that again, huh? Prisankara, I don't know if you know, Sankaracharya, Sri Sankaracharya, formal founder of Advaita Vedanta. But Advaita Vedanta is a uh, principal to the, uh, the original Upanishads. And, uh, you know, it's not like he came up all of a sudden... Advaita Vedanta, or Indian monism, you know, sprang to life from uh, Sri Sankaracharya. No, but this talks about pre-Sankara. Uh, in other words, Indian monism before Sankara. So here it is, pre-Sankara. You could get this really cheap. This one was, I think this is Manshiro Manohalal or Mantilal Banarasidas publication. That's basically all that stuff. And it, they all have a unique smell, too. <sighs> Smells like, uh, kind of like recycled toilet paper. <laughs> um, I, don't, uh, I think this is a, this is a weird um, second edition. Oh yeah, Darshan Peet, yeah. He subcontracted out with one of those two entities. What an amazing book. I, I love stuff like this. Indians, uh, too, especially when they're uh, composing books like this, they don't approach it the way uh, Westerners do. Westerners are like, well, this happened then, and this person influenced that person, and then in, this influence happened, but we think this came... That's not important to understanding. It's not important to wisdom, yeah, because metaphysics is not temporal and linear. You know, it, the, the truth has nothing to do with time. Um, this is a really, really good read. Yeah, there we go. Here's a book everybody should have. This one's falling apart. I got another copy of this that I was given. My book is falling apart. If you read this slowly, the, the amazing things he poses in here are incredible. I've read this book over and over again. It's Causality, Electromagnetic Induction and Gravitation by Dr. Oleg D. Jefeminko. Yeah, Causality. Electromagnetic induction and gravitation. This one can be, but all, all of these books, by the way, thanks to me, can be downloaded off of some site. Someone will probably leave a comment below telling me where you get these books. But, uh, yeah. There we go. What an amazing book. This is the book with the dumbest title that you have to ignore the title and concentrate on its contents, okay? What a dumb title. Touches of Sweet Harmony. Yeah? Touches of Sweet Harmony. You get this uh, like a cheap reprint on eBay. This is all about Pythagoreanism, secrets of Pythagoreanism, original. So, oh man, this is a really good book. You got to ignore the title. I like to uh, meet the authors and maybe slap them for, you know. The title of this book is horrible. Touches of Sweet Harmony. Sounds like a romance novel. <laughs> This book is incredible. Oh, man, if you ever wanted a real book on Pythagoreanism, 99.9% .9 of the books on Pythagoras and Pythagoreanism are horrible. I've seen all of them. Yeah, I've seen all of them. You really do want this book, and it could be had online. Yeah, here we go. Ignore the title. <laughs> oh, my God, I pulled my arm out. The other day lifting a heavy table. Sorry about that. This one is a heady book, but if you can make your way through this book, it's translated from the Latin. It's called The Trinity or First Principles by William of uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, 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 William of, of, of Avernia. William of Avernia from the from uh, Latin to English. 
is the Trinity or First Principles. Oh man, this is a book you really want to read. Oh my God. This will sharpen your mind like a razor, like nothing else. By the way, people ask me, like, what's one book to sharpen your mind to read? Like, you just have one book. Mine would be Plotinus. But the next one after that uh, would be The Perifusian by Erigena. I talked about that in the last video on this series of best books. The Perifusian would be my recommendation by uh, Erigena. Oh, this, this book is so good. I, I can never convey to you how, how awesome this book is, how it will sharpen your mind and make you think. This is the stuff that you should have been taught in high school and college. I mean, you weren't. You were taught garbage and trash and you were told to memorize trash and garbage. This is the stuff that will sharpen and give someone a toolbox, if you will, in the mind for better spontaneous genesis of understanding. People are indoctrinated and they fill their head with useless facts. It doesn't help them in life. It does the opposite of helped them in life. So so get that book. Um, this is a series and this is the best of the series. It's like Neoplatonism and Gnostic thought, Neoplatonism and Jewish thought, Neoplatonism. There's uh, I think 12 or 13. I have all, have all of them. So you should get all of uh, the series of this. It's the significance of Neoplatonism. It's a collection of, uh, of uh, very uh, heavy articles. Um, uh, I really recommend getting the significance. I can't see that. There's no. Uh, there we go. The significance of Neoplatonism, right? It's edited by Bain Harris, but it's a collection of uh, the Pl Neoplatonic Soci International Society uh, (ISNS) International Society for Neoplatonic Studies, which is uh, Old Dominion University, based in Norfolk, Virginia. I was asked to join them, but I'm not a joiner of things, and. Not a joiner, especially of academicians, which uh, half of these articles are by academicians, but uh, this is a really, really good read. And like I said, there's 12 series, 12 books in this series, or 13, and they're always coming out with new ones. Really, really good uh, series. I have all of them. So look for that series, Neoplatonic Studies, Significance of Neoplatonism, so, yeah, Neoplatonism and Gnostic Thought, Neoplatonism is Jewish Thought, and on and on and on. Really great. There's also two, uh, four or six of these. I have all of them. This is Philoponus on Aristotle's soul. Philoponus on Aristotle's. I mean, I am just Philoponus on Aristotle's soul. Um, yeah, there's uh, th four of these. There's also two Philoponuses on Aristotle's coming to be and perishing. This is all a series uh, from Cornell University Press. This, like uh, William of uh, Varanya, will sharpen your mind and help you think deeply and clearly and lucidly like nothing else that you've ever read before. This should almost be like the precursor to reading Plotinus. Reading this stuff, like the Trinity or First Principles and uh, Philoponus, would be really like a precursor for delving into Plotinus. <sighs> stuff like this. I, I so bemoan the fact that, you know, we didn't... Whoops! <laughs> we weren't uh, taught this stuff in high school or college. I knew intrinsically, because I've known uh, ever since the beginning, really, that my teachers were teaching me garbage, and so I hung out in the library, and I have a magic gift, if you will. I do. I have a gift for immediately dissecting whether a book is trash or treasure. Like It takes me 15 seconds, often less, to determine if a book is trash or treasure. So... I ignored my teachers. I got good grades, but I mean, I knew they were idiots. It's like, these teachers are just indoctrinate. Go home and read chapters 5 through 6. We got a multiple guest test on Friday. That's not learning. That's not, uh, you know, empowering your mind to think clearly. This stuff, however, is. Okay? This, if you want your child to have a real education, this is the stuff they should be reading. Not that garbage they're teaching you in high school and college. Well, that's your opinion, you fat tattooed monkey. No, it's not. It's a fact. Tattooed monkey is incredibly wise and extremely intelligent. Tattooed monkey's book recommendations are beyond reproach. And I mean that not in a joking fashion, but I mean that literally. Due to allergies, my voice may sound slightly deeper than normal. Oh, man. See, I'm, I'm sitting here <laughs> enraptured by... 
yeah, Philoponus, yeah. It was also too uh, Simplicius, uh, even though uh, Simplicius uh, had uh, creationistic leanings, uh, still as far as training your mind to think. I have all of this series. Also to uh, Alexander of uh, Aphrodisius. Alexander of, of Aphrodisius, I'll talk about that in the next uh, book recommendation. It's also to, in the same Cornell series. These books used to be radically expensive, but because people are so stupid, they didn't buy them, and so they end up on the, uh, the, the cheap bin, really cheap. Some of which I paid full price for, but they're worth it. Also, too, these books can be had online. Yeah? Someone will probably post the link in a commentary below where these books can be found. <sighs> Thanks to an unnamed person. <laughs> I hope you like these videos. If you do, any donation is greatly welcome. Because nobody else on YouTube is making videos like this. And this is important. This is the stuff that's important in life. Wisdom is. Not getting rich and lining your pockets and, you know, buying a gold Rolex. Yeah, pressing your friend. No, that's not important. Wisdom is important. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Darn allergies. I got a deeper voice thanks to allergies. I hate allergies. Anyway, have a good one. Goodbye.